Hey everyone, welcome back to the Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. For last time, we went inside Lord Jabba Jabu's belly, and we basically saved Princess Ruto here. Which was pretty much a giant escort mission. But now, we basically need to go tell Princess Zelda that we got all three spiritual stones. But before we do that, Link is a very, um, side questy child. <laughs> like, wants to get distracted all the time. So, thankfully it is nighttime. So what that allows me to do is actually grab this golden sculptula right on the wall here. Which, thankfully, with our new trusty boomerang, that would be easy. And, and, and thank you. <laughs> Alright. Easiest way of doing it would actually use this first, because it goes quicker. And then you could actually target the symbol, and then boom. There you go. So that's one. There are many more to go. Now that we have a boomerang, we, and we're pretty much loaded up as a child of what we could actually use as a child, for the most part. So we're actually going to be going to a bunch of different places. A lot of places that we've actually been before. So, let's get started. It's mainly going to be a lot of jump cuts because I am going to be running around a lot in order to do all this. So, let's get started. Our first stop is actually going to be inside the Deku Tree, which, Link, Link, please. <laughs> let's actually get the crawling done. Because there is one very specific room that we have not been able to access, mainly because we needed bombs at the time. And now that we have bombs, as well as the boomerang, we're pretty much all set to do that. So, if we head over in this direction, and uh, hit the wrong button completely, there we go. I will blow up this wall. Thank you. And we open up this door here, which leads to a... Giant sculpture, which we could just do that and uh, get behind it to do things to it. But also, you hear a lot of noise right here. Really? That's the second time that's happened so far. So we do that and we get another one. Easy peasy. Now let's get out of here. So if we head up here, now that we have the bomb and the boomerang, if we head over to this hole here. Which, by the way, we would not have known had we not had the Shard Agony. I mean, we could just blow it up in the center because it's a circular area. Plus, there's a cow mooing, so you kind of get the gist of it by now. But you see a big area with a bunch of webs everywhere. So, if we actually take the time to swap over to a better little magic, we could just burn everything. Also, there's a cow in here, so that gives us free milk if we ever so chose. Oh, I somehow hit that. <laughs> okay, that works. Right behind the cow, if you look up, we see another golden scotula. So we hit it and get it. All right, and if you've been to this area at nighttime at all, you probably would have seen this one a couple times already, but no way of actually getting it due to the fact that you can't reach all the way over there. Every single time, I swear. <laughs> Let's grab it and go. So while it's still considered nighttime somehow, even though it's like brightly lit in day, if you look up like I just did, you would see that golden scotula right up here. My 3DS is upside down again. All right, there we go. Let me reposition. <laughs> there we go. And now, can I can I target that? Thank you. There's that one. But also, if we keep looking around this area while it's still nighttime, if we look around, I believe it is the wall over on this side. Doki and got it. I'm gonna get hit. Yep. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's been many time now since I've done that. Got that one, and let's get out of here. And on the other side of the house here, we might have seen it a couple times, and I think I even pointed it out. There's no way of actually getting this one unless you have the boomerang as well. So. Just snag it. Alright, and this one's a bit of an easier find, and I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't pointed it out already. Okay, what Navi? <laughs> yes, yes, I, I know, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, right over here by this lone tree. If we get close enough... There we go, it should start pinging. Or rumbling, depending on which version you're playing, either or. There we go, found the hole. Jump inside. And we have 
some dangers up there, which I am going to wait until I get close enough to stun you so I can deal with this. Okay. So for this golden sculptula, you actually need to take a really... Yes, I'm... What? <laughs> Why would you tell me that when I'm on the thing? We actually need to take the really long way around in order to get to it. Because what happened was we actually exploded a bunch of stairs. Whoa, hello. We exploded a bunch of stairs to actually get up here normally with a bunch of bomb flowers. That worked. But now, since we re-entered the dungeon before we did that, the stairs are actually back up. So with that in mind, the stairs are actually higher up than they normally are. Which makes it a little bit simpler to get to. But we have to take the long way of getting around there. Now that we can kind of just go, just need to go through here. And we need to push the thing onto the switch in order to get out. Which one? There we go. Move you out of the way. Really get out of here. Climb, Link, climb before you get hit again. Hit this. Watch the door open, and we're actually heading the opposite direction this time. Go through the door, thank you. And you'll notice that if we look over here, it's actually slightly higher than before. So we can't actually reach it, as it seems, but what we can do is climb and jump, or let's see, is there a little bit of a faster? Yes, there is a vine right here that we can just use. Conveniently enough, that just gives us access to this. There is a completely opposite way of doing it. We can kind of like do a rolling jump, but it's just easier to do that. <laughs> Because right over here, you can kind of just roll and jump off and then make it. And lastly, we have this golden sculptula, which I wasn't able to get before while I was digging with Dompe. Because I don't have the necessary things, but now I do. And that should put us at 44. Which, thankfully enough, just means that I can get two prizes out of it. So I'm going to head that way now. Alright, so back inside the house of the sculptulas, we actually have two new guys that are freed. We have this one here. Curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. This is the reward for getting 40. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. But the reward for 30, on the other hand, is more convenient. It is the giant's wallet. It is a huge wallet that can carry up to 500 rupees. So now we can basically hold as many rupees as we possibly can, which will be definitely helpful because we are going to be spending a lot of money to make a lot of money really shortly. Now back in Hyrule Field, which is ironically hilarious because this, uh, Stalfos, or like the little mini ones are still coming. It's technically daytime, almost. Yeah, now it's daytime, but you wouldn't be able to tell by the sky because the gate is still up for some reason. So let's find out what's going on when we head there. I'm gonna cut you off music, I'm so sorry. Ugh, I lost her. You, over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me. So you think you can protect them from me? You got guts, kid. You want a piece of me? 
Very funny. I like your attitude. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world. For Link, it looks like dreams do come true, in the worst way possible. So yeah, we have finally met Ganondorf, but we noticed that Zelda threw something into the water here. Is there something unusual here? I think you meant there. <laughs> Let's go grab it. I almost would have just grabbed that immediately, but I kind of hit the stick. <laughs> you found the Ocarina of Time, which we somehow know the name of. Well, technically, we already did, because Zelda mentioned it already. This is the royal family's hidden treasure that Zelda left behind. It glows with a mystical light. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Link, when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted the way for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. All right. We learn the Song of Time. Now Link, play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Ah, mystical powers and all that. We're back on next to the drawbridge. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, so let's gather up some money really quickly, because like the heroes that we are, we are actually going to fall through the world and find out what people think about what just happened. Welcome to Hyrule Castle Town. We're normally a peaceful town, but something seems to have happened at the castle. I should go and see for myself, but my job is to guard this spot, and I'm not allowed to guard anyone else. Anything else? It's frustrating. Yeah, I mean, you just saw Zelda flee from the kingdom and possibly this entire country. But, yeah. <laughs> People seem to be joyous about this entire situation here. Look at that guy. He's so scared. What a wimp. <laughs> Alright, and what about the other dude? I almost got kicked by that black horse. What about you going around? Oh, so scary. Oh, so scary. Some people seem a little bit miffed that things have happened. Like this one. What happened? I have no idea. One riding on the white horse was the little girl. Wasn't that the legendary Sheikah? I have a feeling something terrible is going to happen soon. Maybe I should leave town. Yeah, you probably should. I'm not dancing, you know. My back itches. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh. That's, that's your problem. Something happened in the castle. Kid, you better be careful. Yeah, we definitely should be careful. What about you? Did you see anything? Hey, what? what's wrong with loitering around all day? You are just kind of mad and dumb. Oh, hello. Ugh. Are you the boy from the forest? I, I finally met you. I, I have something to tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's attendant, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle of our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but... The princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to you. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the Temple of Time. 
and he's dead. Wow. Okay, that that took a dark turn. Not a lot of people actually know that guy exists. It's uh, kind of weird. So yes, with all the stuff that's happened in the town, Ganondorf kind of chased down Zelda pretty much out of the country or something at this point. We have no idea what's going on with them. But we do have the Ocarina of Time now, and we can actually use it to get inside of the Temple of Time using the Spiritual Stones, which is what Zelda wants it, us to do. But in the meantime, we still have a bunch of masks to actually put on and wear and such. So if we wear them, we are actually going to do a little bit of a trading game. Now is the perfect time to do it since we have access to pretty much everybody that is possible to trade masks to at this point. And we might as well since we got really nothing else to do right before we head into the Temple of Time. <laughs> now that Zelda's being chased around Hyrule like for kind of days I suppose as I'm running around this place like crazy.